Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Warhawk Football on UWW TV. I am your host, AJ Cobra, joined by Warhawk Football head coach, Kevin Bullis. Coach, Whitewater season is now over, and you've accomplished a lot of great things, such as the WEAC regular season championship, and also avenging the loss to Mary Harm Baylor from last year's playoffs. What positives can you take away from this year? You know, it's just like any year, it's all about growth, AJ, and that's every time we've gotten together this year, it's all about how are we developing, how are we getting better. And I mean, and that's the big part during the off season right now is to evaluate that and, and what, what's our next step. Does that make sense? And, and uh, obviously recruiting is a big part of that and continuing to build on our, our players and, and, and those things. The thing to me coming out of this season was just our, our resiliency is um, the resiliency of our team and of our program bouncing back from that St. John's game and playing number one team in the country on that day and being able to bounce back from that and, and uh, to, to being able to bounce back from our plant bill loss and, and to continue to build on that and, and to be able to come back and, and finish the conference with a conference championship. And, and that's our goal at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, once you get in the playoffs, you actually got another goal, but uh, we didn't get that goal accomplished. Whitewater's had a lot of great memories this year. What will be your favorite memory that you'll take away from this season? <laughs> You know, the, the, for me, it's, it's, it's the practices. The practices are phenomenal. And, and to watch um, the intensity, the urgency, the, the hard work. Um, when you ask players to bust their tail on every single snap, like it's the last snap they'll take, that's beautiful. Um, obviously, coming out of the games, I mean, it, there, there's no doubt. I mean, the, that last drive against Mary Harden Bay were really amazing. You know, um, that uh, field goal. That kind of the series of events after that River Falls game, um, truly amazing, you know, and as well as the lacrosse game. So, I mean, the games bring memory to it, but also to me, the biggest part is just the, the practice piece of how hard our guys practice and how enjoyable that is to, to be at a practice with the Hawks. Looking ahead to next season, are there any players that you see stepping up into a bigger role, given that there are three seniors that were captains this year? Sure, I mean, and, and it's unique having a returning captain. I mean, and, and that's, you know, and Egan Hine being back next year, I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, he's an amazing leader. And, um, but also, yeah, I mean, there's other young men that are, to me, you're gonna see in leadership roles, whether it's um, Reed Farrington and Matt Burba in that D-line group, um, you know, cause Kyle Gallagher is gonna move on, but there's no doubt me, Reed and Matt will step into that role um, in that, um, you know, those tailbacks, I mean, hey, Tamir Thomas, Jalen step is moving on and, and, and so to see Jalen uh, or Tamir stepping into that role um, and that young wide receiver group. I mean, you've seen the beginning of some really cool things from Stephen Hine and, and some of those younger guys that'll be coming in when Tyler Holty moves on and, and so, I mean, it's in Sam Delaney. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty exciting. There's some really talented people to step into those roles. As always, Coach, I appreciate your time, and thanks for a fun season. Thank you, AJ. It's been a pleasure. This has been this week's edition of Inside Warrior Football on UWW-TV.